Hello, it's Uncommon Fossil. Today, I want to talk about upgrading the Chen Pao deck that you get on the Battle Pass, on the free Battle Pass. It always seems to be on the free Battle Pass is where we get the stronger deck, so that's, I think, a nice of Pokemon to do that. And now that I've completed Tier 16, I can... I have all the upgrade cards available to me, so I wanted to upgrade this deck, and, and this is a very good deck when it comes, I will say. I had done recently a video on the Forest EX deck, and uh, or Fortress EX, I always mispronounce that, sorry, and upgraded that, and that was just not a good deck still, but this is a very good deck. I'm also going to be pulling in cards from some of the starter decks that make this deck even better, because that, that it really is a very strong very competitive deck so i thought let me do all the do all the work that we can you can still do it for free as a budget player starter decks get to tier 15 the battle pass all these cards you have access to so chen pao the decks named after that we now have three chen pao before we only had one chen pao which really i'm not sure why they call it a chen pao deck when they only gave you one of those but chen pao very good pokemon 220 hp and ex it does big damage with hellblade potentially uh, for two water energy, does sit, you discard any amount of water energy from your Pokemon. It can be Chen Power or any other Pokemon. And then the attack does 60 damage for each energy card you discard this way. So can get to big numbers. Maybe the easiest way in the game to get to big numbers to knock out a VMAX in one shot. It also has sh uh, Shivery Chill, which is quite useful. Uh, once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may search your deck for up to two basic water energy, reveal them, and then shuffle your deck. I uh, put them into your hand. <laughs> reveal them, put them into your hand, right? So you get two energy into hand. So that's quite nice because we want to get energies to accelerate. So three of those, um, just walking through things. Still have the Lumineon V, uh, which is just an engine piece. Um, quite nice for the Luminous Signs. When you play it onto the bench from hand, you can search your deck for Supporter. And at times, you, you can't even use the attack, Aqua Return, for one tw there's 120. That can knock out, like, a uh, Crobat or a Sableye in a Lost Zone matchup, for instance, for three energy. And then you put the, you shuffle the Pokemon and all, all the cards attach back into your deck. And that is useful, right? It gets us the Luminion V out of play as a target for our opponent. The previous deck played a 3-3 Wailord line. Is, that was kind of the big attacker. This, I've dropped that because we have better options now. So that we've gone away from that makes the deck better. We, we play back Scalibur to accelerate energy. We had a 3-3 line in the original deck. I've cut it down to a 2-2 line because I think that's all we need because we just need one back Scalibur in play. 160 HP, it, should, it doesn't get knocked out by a Sableye in one turn or a uh, like Radiant Greninja, so that's good. It's a stage 2, so we need Rare Candy. We'll see that in the trainer's. It's here for the super cold ability. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a basic water energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So unlimited energy acceleration from hand, right? Doesn't do damage like Gardevoir X, so that's a plus, but you have to get them in hand. So we have some items to help that happen. And we could attack for 130 for three on occasion, but usually we want to keep it on the bench and keep it safe. All right, just going to go through the list here. Um, so we play a Manaphy, as, we, as this is an important support Pokemon on the bench. We want to keep it alive. So Manaphy for, for Wave Veil, for protection. Um, before, oh, we also played one of the uh, Stage 1 with Vaxcalibur. So I went to a 2-2 two, two line for 3-3, three, three, and I cut out the, the Stage 1. Radiant Greninja, just a really good card. Kept that in the deck. We can attack with Moonlight Shuriken. As we can accelerate that with... Um, Vax Calibre, or in other ways, we'll get to in a moment. And also, it's a just really nice draw, draw ability with concealed cards, discard an energy from hand, and draw two cards. So that's quite nice. Besides attacking, it helps us set up. We also got a Squawk ability EX in the Battle Pass tiers. I didn't include it in the deck. I just don't think the deck wants to discard that hard that quickly. Sometimes it'll help you set up, but ultimately, since there's a lot of evolution cards and rare candies, discarding a bunch of cards, I think is not something you want to do most of the time, so I dropped it. So, getting to the cards I pulled in from other decks, which is really what makes this deck part of makes it shine, is Palkia V-Star. We have the Palkia starter deck, which gives us a 2-2 Palkia line, and that's exactly what we need for this deck. We don't need more than two Palkia V-Star. So, V-Star 280 HP, 
uh, subspace swells a nice, very nice attack. For two energy, does 60 damage, plus 20 more for each bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's. So it gets up to nice numbers there. And then the Star Portal is, gives us another way to accelerate energy. Uh, this, this one's from the discard pile. During your turn, you may attach up to three basic water energy cards from your discard pile to your water Pokemon any way you would like. So only do that once per game, but another way to get those energy cards into play. Very helpful with this deck. And then I did want to give the deck an engine, so put in a 2 2 Barrel line with Industrious Incisors. Once during your turn, may draw until you have five cards in hand. Um... Is that the best? I, I think that's the best way to go. So we don't always get our hand size down. We do then want to play a bunch of Ultra Balls to thin our hands as, as we get things out. I'm pretty sure I included four Ultra Ball. We will take a look when I get to the trainers, but I believe I did. Partly, it's a good that's a good card, and it pairs well with the barrel. Draw till five. So you just want some engine, especially and if you get Iona late game, the barrel gets you out of like a one or two card hand. So uh, 10 basic water energy. It played jet energy before. I really don't think the deck needs it. We have Skaters Park Stadium, which which, mean, which means we can just pay the retreat cost. Um, and we don't need to be getting a... I don't... Jet energy does help you get multiple Chow Pens at Chow Chin Pows in a turn, but um, I don't think that's necessary. So getting to the trainers here. I put in four Ultra Ball. This is the other card that I've gotten that we that I gotten some copies of from the starter decks. Multiple starter decks have this card in it, so you can get that there. Uh, the Vibarrel was also in a starter deck. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. I, I think that one, it is in um, Dialga and Arcanine. I'm not sure. Ultra Ball's in multiple ones. I wanted to get four of those to, to work with Vibarrel in part. So four of those. Uh, it played one switch before. I dropped that. I didn't feel like that was necessary for Iridale, which we already had. Search for a, a water Pokemon and an item card, so really good there. Works well with the deck. Professor's Research, we had three. They gave us three in the deck. I've cut it down to two because, again, it's nice, but I don't think we're using it often enough. And just for deck space, we have other supporters we want to include in other cards, too. Rare Candy, we, they gave us four, which I'm glad to have. They gave us four, but I think three is enough for the deck. I, I just need to get one, maybe two back Excaliburs evolved during the game so three should be enough obviously if we lose the rare candies we can't evolve our back scalibur into back scalibur and we could have a problem i cut jock that's a supporter i didn't think was that helpful in the deck cut the level ball they gave us one level ball which was a bit of an odd card cut that out two candace which let you look for water pokemon and energy energies just from the top cards of your deck I, it was okay but i think there's better options as we'll see had two energy retrievals. We now have a better option to that, so I cut the energy retrievals. Kept the three skaters park in the deck that it lets you, when you retreat from the active to the bench, any basic energies that would be discarded, they go into your hand instead. So therefore, we, like you have your Chow Chen Pao, retreat to the bench, you d would discard two basic water energies. Instead, they go to your hand, so then you can accelerate them onto the new card in the active that you want to attack with. So it pairs very nicely with this deck, and that's partly why I could cut the switch. I think Skaters Park makes that extra switching unnecessary. Deck had one nest ball. I kept it in. Um, not, you know, one nest ball is a bit odd, but I, I you know, it seems to fit the, the list pretty well. Two, it had two bosses orders, kept those in the deck, and then the new cards, which I believe were all cards we pulled on the um, Battle Pass. They, as, as we moved up. So we have four Battle VIP Pass, so that's the way to get basic Pokemon into play here. I think that's pretty effective. Um, obviously, it only works turn one, but you should hit one or two, hopefully. And then you have Irida if you go second to, to draw out a Battle VIP Pass to get set up. Three Superior Energy Retrieval. That's the card that gets us, that's better than energy regular Energy Retrieval for this deck. You have to discard two cards from hand, but then you to put four basic Energy cards in the discard pile into your hand. So, way to really load up those energies for big attacks. And you, of course, you can throw the, accelerate them all into play with Vaxcalibur. One Super Rod, um, which they gave us, and I do like that as an include in the deck. Uh, four Iono, they gave us that, I believe, in the Battle Pass. And it's just a really, really good card. So want four of that. That's partly why dropping the research count a bit. Uh, I don't know often is the better card there. And um, 
and Super Rod. I might have mentioned that. So that look, so shuffle any combination of Pokemon and energy from the discard pile into your deck. So getting some Pokemon and certainly getting the water energies back too that you can get them back with Chen Pass. So let's take a look at the deck in action. Like I said, this is a strong deck. Doesn't guarantee wins, but it's certainly a, a deck you can play often with good results. All right, we'll see. Obviously, evolution deck, I want to go first. My opponent's flipping. Hopefully, they lose the toss, but we will see. They're choosing heads. So let's all root for tails here. It's heads, so I will be going. Imagine I'll be going second, um, but it does give me the ch uh, opportunity to use Era to search for a battle VIP pass to set up. So um, this is a deck that can, you know, it's a, it's a stage two deck, so it doesn't do much turn one, unfortunately. Okay, not a terrible starter. Um, hopefully, it doesn't get knocked out. I don't know what I'm up against, obviously. Lightning deck, so that isn't good starting Palkia. Uh, the Chen Pao is weak to to, to metal instead because it's an ice type in the video game. Um, uh, okay, not loving this set of cards here. I'll have to think through what I want to do. Do I want to research? Maybe I'll research. That's that's the more aggressive play. Uh, my, uh, you know, having Palkia in the active is not good. Um, I could Ultra Ball and then Rope into a new Pokemon. I might want to do that. Um, hmm. So yeah, so this is not the matchup I wanted to see. I haven't been running into a lot of Maridon when I've been testing out this deck. So this will be a challenge. See what I can do. Alright, so it's Maridon Flaffy and Raichu, so not they don't play Regieleki, and they can attack turn one. So now they can do right now. At this point, they would knock out my Palkia next turn. So I don't love that. Um, play down the Skaters Park. Well, I'll Ultra Ball. I think I'm going to research the stuff away. I think that's the play. Alright, so what do I want to get swing into the active? Do I want to set up a Chow Pen? Um, Chen Pao, sorry. I really got to get better about this. Alright, I'm going to switch. They, they will switch to um, uh you know, they, I'm sure they play Beach Court, so they'll send up a, a basic. They I, they shouldn't send up a Mareep, I don't think. Um, they should know that I can't knock them out. I don't think it's possible this deck to knock them out, so that's a good play. Protecting their big pieces here. I w might as well attach to the... Do I attach to Palkia? I'll attach to Palkia. Uh, the problem is my Palkia might get knocked out. Uh, hopefully, all right, battle VIP pass, so that is a big plus, so, and I have him. Uh, what else do I want to get to play? A Radiant Greninja would be nice in this game, right? So, I'll grab him. Okay, that's nice. So I, all right, I have a Frigibac, so I, I, no reason to play that card down, is there? So Frigibacs, and I don't think, I mean, Palkia is a nice card, but it's weak to Lightning, so I don't think I want to go with Palkia, so I'll toss down another second Chen Pao. Oh, I should have grabbed the energies before I Radiant Greninja, I think. That was probably a bit of a mistake. So not a bad setup. Obviously going second isn't ideal with this deck. All right, and I just end turn there. Uh, being lightning deck, having, you know, I would not have started the Palkia. Uh, I don't, didn't have an option, I don't believe anyway. Yes, yeah, so they bumped, bumped my stadium. I play three of them. Um, 
I, I played my stadium first. They play at least three beach court, I assume. They might even play four. So I'm in position to lose the stadium more. Um, Radiant Greninja is a nice threat, though. They don't have Manaphy in play, so I can take out two Flappies on one turn at some point. All right, so I had a lot of cards in hand. Um, so they can't boss up my Palkia. That is good. All right, I, that's good. I, ha I have it. That's a very nice set of cards. I have Irida. I can get my Baxcalibur into play. It's come together quite nicely, I would say. All right, no Pokemon on the discard. One energy. Just taking a look at what's there. Discarding Forest Steel Stone. I guess they must have it in hand. Well, that's a very nice card. I wouldn't think they'd want to get rid of it. So, depending what ha I mean, they do have Free Retreat. They sh uh, Can they knock me out this turn? They need one more energy, right, to get attach to Maridon. And then and they have it, so they have free retreat. So they got knockout. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they have electric generator. Okay. Um, so it's not great. They're they're one shotting my Chen Pao's quite freely. Um, I think I want to attack with the Radiant Grand Ninja. Take out the Flappies here. I think. I'm, I'm or do I want to attack with Chen Pao? Which I could do too. Alright, I'll send up the Chen Pao because I have the I have my stadium, so I do have a, what's effectively free retreat for me, right? So I want to I think I want to evolve Palkia, right? I want to get um Let me make this play him and oh, okay only one rare candy in deck so all right well he needs to stick around or i'm in some trouble seven water energies in the deck um, did i discard uh, i think i discarded one so there's a rare candy in the prizes um I use my support. Do I want to save the Iono or the Research? That's my question here, right? I think I will save the Iono. Just because I'm not sure what I'm going to draw into here, right? Get him into play. Um, evolve. Oh, let me get the... No. Do the barrel first and then grab the water energies. Sequencing is important. Okay. Um, so I think I, mean, I could. I, maybe I just hack with Palkia this turn. I don't know. I think I want. I'd like to save Palkia, right? Trying to think through what I do here. So I need to accelerate to Chen Pao. That's a given. I could be attacking. I might not be attacking, right? Um, one, two, three, four. So I can. Uh, let me think here. I don't have another Chen Pao though. So I think I want to attack with Radiant Greninja. So let me make that my play here. They'll knock me out, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Um, save the Palkia. Attack with Radiant Greninja. Sorry, I, I'm doing a lot of thinking here. I guess I've been quiet. I'm not, you know, for the video. Um, I, I, you know, the question was, oh, yeah, you can only take one prize at a time. I, I tried to click draw a second prize, so... Getting the second rare candy means maybe I should have thrown down the other basic. All right, got another Chen Pao. That is good because um, they might knock out my Chen Pao. I, I assume they're going to take out my Radiant Greninja. Um, without, you know, with Radiant Greninja in play, it, it, it means they can't play their, their Mareep stand, right? I will just take them out there. Um, so we'll see what happens here. 
I played my ropes. I don't have any switching cards in deck, so that's one thing to be aware of. Now, if they play a beach fort, um, then I have, then I can retreat for free. Although I only have one retreat, so it doesn't really matter. The energy goes in hand, so I don't need for retreat. Magna zone. Okay. Forty to the new active, and it will hit for weakness if it's lightning weak. All right, playing Arvin. See what they grab here. Which is an item and a tool, right? Yeah, item and tool. It's one of the few ways to grab a tool. So they want to take out my Palkia for three prizes. That's what they want to do here. Um, that's okay. I mean, at this point, they're going to take... No, I guess that means they can win next turn. That, that's, that is a problem, right? So Mariah, I guess they're going to take out my active... So they could win next turn with because of Sky Seal Stone. So, so that was makes sense. They wanted to get the Sky Seal Stone. Um, so that maybe I should not have evolved Palkia. The, the reason I probably wanted Palkia is it lets me get my, ener accelerate my energies back into play, um, which I like. And I do have Knockout here. Uh, if they knock out my Palkia, I assume they're going to win the game. So I don't really need to worry about that. Um, so I think I want to, um, so I could Iono, I might want to Iono my opponent before this is all done also. Let's, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, I meant, I meant to. No, I wanted to retreat. Yes, I want to retreat. Yes. Use my other Chen Pao. Confuse myself a little bit here. All right, so out of energy. Um, let me just take a look here. Um... I will let's get rid of you, get rid of you. It's going to toss down the mana fee. Not really sure I want him, but it's a back Excalibur. One, two, one, two. Just keep my options open there, right? All right, I'm going to. Iono. Um, I could, you know, if they if they had to knock out my Palkia with not, um, without the Magnazone, right? Then, um, maybe I do want that, right? So four energy. So, all right, I'm gonna do this. This keep the boss because boss is awesome here get these four energies back into my hand and then get them into play here right that's what we want to do one there I'll make it so everyone can attack and everyone can retreat at this point point. and I'll decide what I discard so I like having boss okay it was a little it's a little weird the game has certain lags at times i wanted to use the barrel had to wait to get it so i'm just gonna attack i need to do six times three six times four so i need to get rid of four energy uh it's a nice hand i have too so one two And I'll get rid of you. I, I was—I don't want to hit done, right? So get rid of the four. So six times four, two forty. All right. So it was a slow turn. Sorry to my opponent. I was thinking things through a little bit, just trying to set up. Right. My opponent may have game, because um, they may be able to take three prizes. If they can't take three prizes, I'm in really good shape. Um, so Maridon. 
Um, obviously, they don't win with Maridon, so that's good. So, boss, are they going to gust up my Palkia? Are they going to be able to take him out with Magnazone? Probably, but we'll see. Oh, Raichu. Well, Raichu would, but they don't have the... They need to get the Forest Seal Stone. So, do they play a second one? I mean, Sky Seal Stone, and they have to hit it. So, that's not terrible for me. Wow, so they missed. And they conceded, and I had... I believe I had the... I was, I was okay. I, I was going to be able to recover energy. Um, so there we go. So got the win up against a lightning deck that was a concern for sure. Um, you know, and, and it can do big damage. You know, I didn't have to make, take out any V-Stars or any V-Maxes in particular, but it can get there, as you can see. Um, a very strong deck, really. Um, I, this is a deck I'm going to be playing a bunch. It, it's played a lot in a lot of events. Now, the win rate for the deck has been dropping. When you look on Limitless, it's below 50%, but that's because it's played a lot. So you need to play the deck. If you uh, Don't be afraid to play it because of that. Just play the deck. Learn how it works. You have your, you know... It, it's an interesting deck because you, you have things that... Because you're exciting from hand with Backscalibur. You're getting cards into hand with Chen Pao and like superior energy retrieval, but then you also have the option of accelerating from the discard pile with the Palkia. We have the Lightning Week Pokemon, which obviously is a concern with like that last matchup, but then even if you have to play a Palkia, don't play a second Palkia, and then attack with Chen Pao, and that's very good. So it's a really nice set of cards, and you have Radiant Greninja, took out two Flappies, my opponent didn't get, get those reestablished again. And the Barrel Engine is very solid. So I think this is a pretty good 60. Let me know your thoughts on this deck list. If there's other cards that should be included, let me know. And good luck. Have fun with the deck. And just, uh, you know, have fun playing Pokemon. Take care.